Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting for March 10th, 2020 um, at 6.04 p.m. Uh, we're starting our, our meeting. Tonight is, um, is mainly strictly a budget review meeting um, that we're getting together on a couple of budgets for we need to get onto the finance committee to kind of compile our budget and then meet again to figure out what we're going to do because um, it's going to be a tough year. And so we've got to go through all of that stuff. So we're just kind of, these are the final budgets we had to put together for the finance committee so they could compile the budget and we can review uh, what's going to need to happen. So um, as all know, uh, watching the news that the, um, the coronavirus is Kind of gripping the community and the country and the world really um, so we, we as the town of Deerfield select board um, are going to um, declare an emergency as a res um, to respond to the COVID-19 so I'm going to read the declaration and we'll take a vote on that and um, and then we didn't have this on the agenda it's kind of coming up as um, unanticipated because things are moving fast and um, and I think as I go through this, you'll kind of understand why we're doing it and where we're, where we're going. We can talk about it after. So, um, Town of Deerfield, emergency, emergency declaration to respond to COVID-19. Whereas on January 30th, 2020, the World Health Organization designated the 2019 Novel uh, Coronavirus outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern. Whereas on January 31st, 2020, the United States Health and Human Services Secretary Alex M. Azar II declared a public health emergency for the entire United States to aid the nation, the nation's healthcare community in responding to the 2019 novel uh, coronavirus hereafter COVID-19. Um, whereas the world out, uh, worldwide outbreak of COVID-19 and the effects of its extreme risk of person-to-person -person transmission throughout the United States and the Commonwealth significantly affect the life and health of our people, as well as the economy and uh, is a disaster that impacts health, security, and safety of the public, whereas the disease caused by COVID-19 is a contagious and at times fatal respiratory disease, the symptoms of which include fever, cough, and shortness of breath, and the disease can spread from person to person via respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes, whereas, uh, whereas as of March 10, 2020, uh, 20, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, there are more than 114,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide, and over 4,000 of those cases have resulted in death. And there are more than 600 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the United States, with 25 of those cases having resulted in death, with 91 presumed positive cases of COVID-19 in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Whereas both travel related cases and community contact transmission of COVID-19 have been detected in the Commonwealth with such transmission expected to continue. Whereas the Massachusetts Department of Public Health has instituted a public health incident management team to manage the public health aspects of the incident. Whereas it is critical to take additional steps to prepare for, respond to, and mitigate the spread of COVID-19 to protect the health and welfare of the people of Deerfield. And whereas declaring a state of emergency will facilitate and expedite the use of town resources and deployment of local, regional, state, federal resources to protect, uh, protect persons from the impacts of the spread of COVID-19. Now, therefore, I, Trevor McDaniel, Chair of the Select Board and Board of Health of the Town of Deerfield of Massachusetts, hereby, hereby declare that as, at, as of 6 p.m. on March 10th, 2020, a state of emergency exists in the town of Deerfield. This declaration of emergency shall, shall remain in effect until notice is given, pursuant to my judgment that the state of emergency no longer exists. Take a vote, or do we need to vote? Or is it just the chair that declares? I think I would rather a vote anyways. Well, I you make can a motion sign that we want to slow the spread and decrease the opportunity for spread in our community of COVID-19. Um, so I endorse. Um, I think you should take a vote. Okay. You can. So, uh, all those in favor of this declaration? You got a second it first. Oh, second. Sorry. <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, how would you, um, Brenda? How how do you wanna 
um, are you going to be able to keep uh, what would work best for you to keep a uh, tally of our expenses? Part of the reason we declared an emergency is so that we can, you know, any supplies that we're buying, extra expenses incurred, to, um, would be um, potentially reimbursable. So um, how do you want us to start accounting for it? Let me think about that one. Okay. We might want to set up a whole new uh, account for oh, it. Yep. Okay. Um, but but let me let me look into that and okay. get back to you tomorrow. Would that work? Perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah, um, that would be great. What I wanted to do, one of the things, just to give you an idea of what I wanted to do, um, in our Board of Health expense, we have um, uh, infection control. Uh, we have, you know, roughly $1,200. So um, one of the things I was thinking of is having the senior center buy, um, you know, like, inexpensive spray bottles get some bleach and have the senior staff you know senior center staff actually put a little bleach in and mix it up so for the seniors and give them a roll of paper towels because there's no wipes anywhere so and we don't want them out looking driving around looking for stuff so the idea is to you know, when they get done through their little spray bottle, they can come back and get it refilled. Maybe even some latex gloves. Mm -hmm. Whatever. For it, yeah. handling, the, handling idea, the gas pump or, or door handles, things and, like and that, right? A lot of yeah. And a lot of seniors are not going to go on. Um, this is our vulnerable group. So this is the group we're going to try to protect. So a lot of our seniors aren't going to go on the web and look up, you know, um, cdc.gov. So we want to print out um, a packet of you know basic information and keep it updated and and so all those expenses I think we can come out I know our infectious control line usually is for rabies and sending out for exactly. rabies and stuff but we can expend that money right away I think for this is legit so um, I would agree at some point we'll go to the finance committee for a reserve transfer once we figured out what we're actually going to do but for some of those expenses that can't be, that are new, I don't want to put it onto the senior center. So those are the kind of things I want you to think about um, okay. that we would probably want to do. Um, it, it, we're, we're not talking a lot of money, but the, certainly they would be reimbursable as an emergency response. So we'll tr figure out receipts and all that kind of stuff. But that might be a good line item for it. But let me think about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Yeah. So Thank we're, um, I know that Carolyn's been speaking with um, a lot of people, um, being in touch with our superintendent, and um, has been gathering a lot of information, working with the local health group. Um, so we'll probably have more information on this tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So our main I, meetings tomorrow, we, we're just doing budgets today, but we felt like it was important to start keeping track of expenses, and it seems to be moving fast enough that we would want to be prepared to protect the residents as best we can. I, I, I just want to say that I, I feel so, um, we feel so blessed to have, we, I think we have a really good team um, at the superintendent's office. Superintendent mm -hmm. is fantastic, very, very proactive, let's or be organized, planned out, and um, it's really nice working on a um, committee. Uh, I co-chair the Mohawk Area Public Health Coalition, we're meeting and we've set up a joint information system committee, subcommittee, and I'm co-chairing that. And we're meeting regularly, we're, you know, sometimes twice a week already. So we're going to send out messaging, messaging to the community. Trevor's been posting it. We've, it's on our web page. We're trying to post these things and get keep everyone up to date with our information as much as we can. And we'll talk about this stuff tomorrow. There's just it's evolving constantly and. Um, but we're going to try to be creative because the thing people need to understand is this: we're probably going to it's going to go until next year, so before, uh, before a vaccine. vaccine. And um, it's <coughs> we need to take care of our um, anyone that has Im immune suppressed system or is elderly with any underlying medical conditions. We need to be very protective, and we have to figure out creative ways to help them be safe. Um, so keep, in the meantime, keep washing your hands. That's the number one thing you can do. And learn to elbow bump. Yeah. <laughs> no more hands. hugging. No more I hugging. mean, this is a big deal. No hugging. I met with um, no Lisa White today, who's done an amazing job. Is obviously a lot of people know she's our 
downtown nurse through the FERCOG, and uh, she's testified before um, the Senate this week, and um, or last week, it's going last by pretty, week. last week. Yeah. Um, she's just extremely knowledgeable in this stuff and very helpful, and she's kind of helping us guide, guide through it too. But we talked about um, the information we put out being just concise and in kind of one spot. So, because there's a lot of information coming at everybody all over the place and, and you can get overwhelmed pretty easily. So we're just gonna try and keep it just simple and uh, straightforward so people can know what to look yeah. at. And we're, you know. I don't know if you heard the news or not, but Cameron's College has told students yes. not to return after spring break. Right? Yes. Or Harvard, Harvard the same. Yep. 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 The Smith Bulb show has been canceled and I mean there's All a lot of. All the Day stuff. Yep. Yeah. I, Right now, it's, it's close confines where you have a lot of people. That's probably not a good thing to do. But we're going to take the activities one by one and, and, and see how bad. We, we have no information. That's the thing. The testing is just not being done yet. Um, and we, we'll have more information every day for this next week or so. And then we'll have a com more complete picture on how we're going to react in the community. It's just it's very hard with the absence of, we have to assume it's going to be circulating, but as a mom, everybody knows that when everybody leaves this valley for spring break, and then they come back, you know, having four kids in elementary school at one time, that week after spring break is over, everybody starts getting sick. So I really, the, the schools really are out until um, March 22nd. So that Friday and the following Monday, the March 30th, I, I think we have to the end of the month before it really starts popping here, if it's going to pop. So um, I can't say it's not already here because I think that, you know, we're, we just have too many people coming and going um, out of the valley, but it, it's under the surface and, it's, and it has an ability to be contained or mitigated at this point. I think at the end of the week, that's why it's so important right now to organize, get our habits, our cleaning habits, and our, what we're going to do in the next two weeks, and then figure out how we're going to, you know, protect our community. And I, I honestly, just being a mom, I think that's, and a grandmother, that's when people get sick. That's, a, that's you know, that just is a normal scope of things, so this is probably no different. And we, we need to sort ourselves out in the next week or so. Okay. okay. So moving on. Um, the main, main reason we are meeting tonight is for our uh, budget review. We're getting some, like I said, some um, final budgets that we kind of oversee to the finance committee so they can kind of put, put the full budget together and see where we're, where we're standing. Um, do, do you want me to just go through these, or do you want to guide you, this, Brenda? You go, go right ahead, okay, if, so. if you don't mind. I'll yep, sure. I'll just as, as, uh, go as I have it in the, um, in the packet here, and we start okay. with select board staff salaries. So um, this budget is to run our office and all that we do out of the select board office, which touches just about every department. Um, so we have, uh, you know, just going down the line, we have our town administrator budgeted uh, for next year. We have an assistant town administrator kind of earmarked at the moment um, for uh, 70000 And this was um, last, was it fall? We had a special town meeting where I had asked for additional funds for this department, thinking we were going to get hired and get staff. And here I am uh, into uh, March with yeah. still nobody in that department, but we're Moving along, so we have uh, we have our um, permanent town administrator. We have some interviews we're looking at and, and have had, and um, so we're ver you know very close to moving forward on that. And um, I think you know, to Skip's argument last fall, we probably will have money to put back at the end of the year from this um, from our you know appropriation that we had. But I was hoping that you know, really, I was, selfishly, I was hoping that wasn't the case because that, that mean we'd have staff and we had a full department in there doing the work so generally we have um, some money set aside for that and as we were going through inter interview processes last uh, year um, or even this year that we you know I, I think we were kind of changing a little bit of how we want to run that department and to make sure that we have really is the way I see it two very competent people running that department we have a 
you know, a leader now in that department, and, and then we have a very, very highly qualified um, number two that can do almost as much, but just is really uh, right hand, can tackle large projects and a lot of stuff. Um, we have an immense amount of work that goes through that office, and um, with Casey coming on and kind of getting a, a lay of the land and how she'd like to see that office run, um, you know, she's been here for a few weeks, so we're, we're kind of compiling that view of how we want the department run and, and maybe changing some requirements around or what we want the different positions to do. But I think I, I don't, so in this budget, I'm not asking for an increase over what we asked for last time. That's a couple hundred bucks less, but um, really we wanted to have that ability to um, hire a good number two. And then we have, uh, we do have an admin position that's been here for many, many years and we'll continue doing her work. And then, um, and then we have an additional um, admin assistant for you know, part time for about twelve thousand under three hundred um, dollars, and that um, we were hoping to use for um, some board of health help. You know, this is again to kind of decide how much we're taking over um, from work and shifting things around. And I know there's still talk between the um, highway department and our office and. Um, there's people that do a lot of different bills in our office and send on to you. So we're still trying to kind of hash out exactly how that's going to go. Um, so we may end up at the end of next year turning some money back. Um, but um, I'm hoping that we have enough set in the budget now to tackle what we want to do and go forward. But I'll take any comment from you or uh, Casey on I'm, what you think I'm, is. I'm supportive of this because we're still trying to flesh out how we're going to be organized. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I, I know we have to um, be mindful of our budget. There's no question. But um, we have to get people in, in place, and then we can organize. And so until that happens, I, I, I really don't want to change the budget. I don't either. And I know that we're going to have to look deep at this budget at the yeah. end here when we put all this together the, to the, the finance total, committee. Yes. So, you know, we may have to visit this again, and it may not be something that we can handle. But right now, I know. I, 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 you I, know, I fought for this last year, and I'd like to see it continue. And I, I really want that yeah, office doing the work that has yeah. really needed to happen. Um, so I don't know if there's do – you, do you have any comments on that, Casey? Do you ha, Have you looked at this and decided – I know you're still kind of – getting a lay of the land of where you want people to do what, but do you I think am. You, you're, are you in support of a, this funds to give you what I you am, need? because there is a tremendous amount of work in there, more, uh, more so than there was when I worked here before. Mm -hmm. There are a, a number of grants, and they're critical grants, um, that have to be managed, and that's an administrative function that we coordinate between departments, but the majority yeah. of the work, um, just reporting and making sure that we're watching our funds. We work with Brenda's mm -hmm. office yep. and with the treasurer as well. It's just there's a lot of project management that's going on and we've got two big sewer projects that mm -hmm. we're working on. Yep. So as I'm getting acclimate, acclimated, I'm seeing places where the opportunity to have somebody with the skill set of an assistant town administrator as the job description's written and I've reviewed right. it. Um, really falls down we need that support yeah. in order to function plus we have the board of health administrative work that we haven't fit into a framework and that's right that's kind of what i've been trying to do is figure out the framework for some of this yeah. um and that requires a little bit of a, a deep dive yeah in time. order to do that you have to have a bit of capacity to right. focus on it. And I know you're running at 110% right now. It's mm -hmm. hard to um, mm -hmm. take a minute to think about that when all that's coming at you at one time. So, um. I do re realize the Finance Committee has some concerns about this. Yep. Um, on the other hand, we do have a couple of weeks in order to sort of flesh out the rest of that budget. And yep. so we've, that, I've then. discussed it a couple times with Brenda, but Okay. I think it requires a bit of a deeper dive, and I know that they don't want to hear me say that, but. Mm -hmm. um, so I make a motion we approve this. Okay. Any further discussion or comment? All those in favor? Oh, Aye. second, sorry, second. Oh. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, we do know we have to revisit it, but I would like to not do that just yet. Um, 
Next um, is legal expense. Um, so we're carrying forward uh, 51,000 as we did have in 2020. Do you know, I was looking a little bit where, are we on track for this year? I mean, we have a lot coming I, at us. I believe we are, but I haven't analyzed it to that point. Right, I've been watching the bills as they come through and kind of how they're allocating to, you know, planning board and our office. And we just have a lot going on in town and I, I just can't imagine next year is gonna be a slowdown. I wanna say after uh, the end of February, we were at 38,000? Right. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. The problem just, is, is we're ramping up with several projects that are going on amongst the committees and they need that support. Right. Because there's several critical decisions, particularly that planning and zoning are facing. Mm -hmm. And so that support is... Uh, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. But we just... Would be very we need, do need to remember that this is less money than we've spent in years past. And... You know, we've tried really, Certainly really less than 2019. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and, and then I think we were all wondering what the um, the monthly fee was going to be if we, with 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 the uh, contract that we have with. I think. Um, Will it change? You mean? That's what right. I've asked Lisa for that. And you're answer. waiting for that answer. I'm waiting for that Still answer. Waiting. Part okay. part of that is I think. Um, I called her and then I sent her an email. Lisa's has worked with Casey in the past, so I think that will help stabilize some of the expense for us. And the budget, so you've got that flat, and I'm, bear with me, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm beginning to understand it. You've got the flat fee is the, the 46? The, yep, the flat fee is in admin, and then um, there was a planning board issue that required additional um, work that was billed separately. Okay. And mm -hmm. then there were, um, some labor labor issues that that required uh, being built built mm -hmm. separately also so okay. I assume those will continue for a while well I think it depends on what the activity is but mm -hmm. not having some of that labor I, back back up it could be difficult I ha I think just having you you back in place and you know having worked in well the we past. are coordinating we have large and projects that we're working on the legal yeah. for so we need that support as well. Right. So will 51,000 be enough? Well, that's what my concern is. I know we could, you know, ask for a transfer later on, but I, it'd be nice to I, know ahead of time. My, my question is, you know, in years past we had kind of, I know he did it. I guess that was just kind of billed as needed. Is that, it, so that's yes, flushed out that right. way? Correct, and right. that's, and so we could do that, uh, whereas um, that isn't, that isn't easy to separate those bills it's out. It's a lot anymore, of work. So. Yeah. I, we just, we have, we've been in transition for so many years that hopefully we'll stabilize and we'll stabilize how we're doing business and that will cut down on a number of people calling and I just think billable hours with and the stuff. Solar stuff. The, well, the pieces, so the, the critical things are these sewer solar, contracts. We need re contract right. review. Um, certainly whatever planning and zoning you're dealing with that's right. also uh -huh. a factor mm -hmm. and we've got several large projects that are that we're utilizing council support mm -hmm. just to finish up yep. since I walked through the door and then how about all the MVP stuff exactly mm -hmm. you've yeah. got you've There's got a lot that of contract review on that because we're doing contract review for that as well well let's approve this at 51 and then so oh. I'll the, see if we can what's we the do projected um, fiscal year 20 spend for legal versus this budget of 51,000. We, we, uh, we projected 51 last for 2020. This is level and, funded. And yeah, this, so this is level funded and we're, um, we're about 38,000 in right now, maybe a little bit more than that, but so with a few and months left to go. Where do you think you're gonna end up actually? We don't and, know. And, and, well, <laughs> we may and, be, like last year we, I mean, well, in one 19, year we were at, at 19 we figured 36 and we ended up at 52, so. So that's why we kind of went up to 51 last year, and I think, I think we're doing okay, but you never know what's going to hit you. It used to be that we always budgeted this at 20,000. 20, yes. We always had a transfer at, yes. at the end of right. the fiscal year. As you so, can see, so yeah, finally every year. We're, finally, we're budgeting it for more what correctly it really is. well. Yeah. 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 Well, we're, we always start out the year optimistic, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway. Um, well, you've had some additional expenses this year that you might not have next year's. Right. Yeah. I, I know. As we get through some of these contracts as well, that's going to... Right. It's only... That may allevi alleviate some of those 
expenses, however, comma, if we're at 30, 38,000, then we're, what's our estimate? I don't remember the estimated more. percentage right now. So we've got to be over Probably 60. 70, yeah, 65% I, I or so. Yeah. So yeah, that's 65% of the budget, Chris. Yep. Um, so it's going to be close, maybe. Mm -hmm. And the know. flip of that is some of these projects that we're getting council's assistance with have an economic a positive economic impact oh, yeah. on the town. So well, like the RFP, well. like the RFP, we've got to get that out the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. That's absolutely, you know, for the um, Oxford Pickle. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, that's all that's, happening this year. So that's, yeah, right. I mean, but right. that's yep. money well spent. So whatever. I make a motion we approve it at 51000 Any For a lack of better I'll second. choice. Any further discussion? <laughs> yeah. no. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, right. Um, so next is the inspections department payroll. Um, so we have, um, just look at this. So this is reflecting that grade Six. That jump in the grade for our our building commissioner certification, correct? Yeah. For yep. certification and passing all of those things. Mm -hmm. And then um, various other inspectors that we pay uh, at a flat rate um, for the electrical, the plumbing, the gas, and then um, a full-time assistant. We have a full-time clerk yep. now, which we didn't before. Right. That is someone, uh, that was a change in fiscal 20. And that, right, and that, again, last meeting when I asked for the money for that department, I asked for the money for that department, and... Um, and that is uh, reflected in this budget sheet. Um, so the only thing that I'm worried about is that um, we've been, we flat-rated the plumbing inspector and the gla you know and the electrical and all the, those at 38 bucks an hour which and we so haven't changed that no we did last this this in fiscal 20 we mm -hmm. we added oh we did yeah. we, oh, we right. increased yeah. it. it right okay yeah. mm -hmm. i was thinking it was a couple oh, yeah. of years ago no that was, was fiscal 20 it was this last one okay yep all right then i guess this is okay still we just have to pay attention cuz we don't want to lose our inspectors. And then I'm just curious, um, to look at the numbers of where we're at now as far as that expense, um, you know, how we're tracking for 2020. We have 161. I oh, think, you're doing, you're doing just fine for 20 because there, right? we'll, be, we'll be rolling some money because back our full time assistant didn't come on when we'd expected. It. Right. right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So same scenario. So theoretically, we could we'll we be might pushing turn. some money back. You will be turning money yeah. back, I'm okay. sure. Good. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So really the main, okay. the main question was, you know, just the main statement, I guess, in this is that we're moving, you know, at, as when we hired um, our commissioner now that we had hired him at a grade five with the understanding that we would move him to a grade six when we, uh, when he completed his probation, probationary time and all of his <laughs> testing. And I know, I think he's got one left to go or something like he's that. Just I think he's working at the end on. Of the month, end of the yeah. month. And those are not easy. So tests. so are you anticipating the the increase in the grade before the end of this fiscal yeah. year? Okay. Yeah. Um I would think by the end of the month. Well, it's supposed to be March 24th, okay. I think. Yeah, so um, it will be a, a not a pay period until April. Okay. So, so when that happens, I'm assuming you'll put together a memo for yes. Barb and myself so that we're yeah, aware and we yeah. will. Um, I make a motion we approve this as um, 1.65 percent increase from last year. I'll second. Any further discussion or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Inspection department expense. Um, Not a lot of change here, mostly in the vehicle expense. Um, we went up 250 the, bucks. Yeah, yeah, the allocation of, of fuel. I was yeah. just going to say, um, I think John was covering some of the fuel. 
Right. So yeah. he had been charging the department 750 for the fuel, um, and we've decided that a thousand is maybe a better, re uh, a more reasonable amount. Of course, if oil stays the way it is, <laughs> we'll all be getting a rebate. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then so I, I make. Him enough yeah. I mean, it was pretty uh, all the same. Forty-seven hundred dollars. So, I make a motion that we approve this as presented. And we had no, um, for the last several years, we have not been using general expense for the other inspectors. No. Right? They just hadn't been using it. No. So I, I, I think what would happen is we, if they had something that they needed to do, we would. Test or something like that. Yeah, or some book that they needed to buy, we mm -hmm. would just pay for it out of the, the department. Books. And if we're short yeah. at the end, um, then we'll. You know, ask for a transfer. Yeah. Well, we are you're allowed, allowed, we are allowed. over on books and materials from um, the certification process, right. but right. Um, okay. like you said, they rarely spend the others. So yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm not really. Okay, so I'll second that. Any further discussion? No nope. questions. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Uh, Board of Health salary. Um, so my only question on this is that we have, you know, the other health inspector that we pull in from time to time, they're listed as a rate of 35 an hour, but they get more than that? Yes. Well, uh, yeah. In the past, there was a different health inspector that was brought in and, and she was paid $35 an hour and I you know really that was depends on who we bring in yeah. right and so I know you've been using someone else lately at $50 an hour so maybe maybe that needs to change so know. Brenda and I talked about the, this this afternoon and mm -hmm. considering the activity right now um, with both inspectors it may be worthwhile even though I know Skip is going to be upset with me <laughs> I think we should at least raise it to the pay rate that we're we have right now I don't know. I unfortunately and, and I don't know if 42 hours is enough based on what what yeah. he's already been paid for this year. That's I, what I'm not um, sure about. I, um, this is a special case. You know, okay. So I think at the end of the year, going for a reserve transfer is not an issue. Do you um, want to leave it rather as than funded? yeah yeah because so leave it. The only time the only time we would we we would like have Gina McNeely come and fill in, um, you know, if somebody's cover. sick oh. and cover. But then we would have Charlie for a specific you're, thing. You're going to have a ton of work with this COVID-19. That's, I mean, you're not, yeah. we're not even factoring in any of that expense. Yeah, but you can't, you don't want to budget for it no, in I'm, a regular budget. What, what we would do. We know that we're going to be underpay, underfunding this already. With right. With the but of work we're going to need. For, for it's what? It's possible. It's possible, but again, you go to the, you can, you're allowed, because we declared an emergency, mm -hmm. we, we keep the receipt, we can deficit spend, we can t go to the finance committee for reserve transfer, we can have a special town meeting, if it looks like we're going to have giant expenses, we can have a special town meeting before a regular town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are going to be expenses, like we don't even know if we're going to have, be able to have a town meeting. So... You know, I'd asked Casey to look into it a couple of weeks ago, and no one's really come up with an answer because you're legally obligated to have a town meeting. Yeah, we you have can if, on it or have we it have early. some movement. Yeah, on we that got now. some info on that. Yeah, but. But, Lisa and Dan Graves are working on it. But we don't have, you know, whatever we do might cost some money, so we're gonna have we're gonna have expenses that we're gonna be handing to Brenda, and that we'll be covering through transfer or special town meeting on a regular basis. You, you don't want to put it in the regular budget. Is this the way you handle an H1N1? Um, I, can't re I can't really remember, but this is how you um, handle flooding or like a hurricane's coming. Okay. You know, it's the same idea. You, you, I always declare emergency early so that all our preparations are going to be be able to be counted as towards the expense of response. If you if you delay your declaration, then you can't everything that you're doing, you can't really you know claim. 
and there's going to be some money coming down for sure. So we, we got to make our list complete as possible so we are reimbursed for whatever we decide to do. And um, Brent, like I said, from now on, these expenses are going to be covered and, um, you know, somehow. And, and we'll hopefully get mostly reimbursed. I, I, I don't want to reflect this. Um, you know, this is not going to be a normal expense every year to year expense. That's the only reason I don't want to put it in the budget. In other words, this is a budget, so we're going right. to stick plan, right. plan right. conservative. I have, uh, when you talk about Board of Health expense, I have, I have stuff that I was changing because of not anything to, to do with the uh, uh, coronavirus, but um, a like response. I needed to do some things, and uh, so I had changed this, but this was months ago planning mm -hmm. when we were okay. doing the tabletop and stuff like okay. that, and so I feel like this is a regular, I mean, we can get into it in a minute, but when we, this is a regular response that we're going to have in a change that's going to be year to year versus, you know, um, a temporary situation. So, I mean, I... I, I don't think that's enough line item because we already know we're going to overexpend or we've already expended that line. That's not but uh, yeah, but it's an unusual and uh, you know it's an unusual occurrence. It's not a regular occurrence. Hopefully, I mean it is sort of 20-year response, but you know it periodically it raises its head. Mm -hmm. So I th I feel not a problem going to the finance committee and justifying to the finance committee what you know, we're doing what we did on that line item. Okay. So I make, um, a, well, do you want to increase that a little bit? Um, but I, I mean, I feel like it's pretty okay. I think or, it should be, but it's uh, fine if you, I mean, yeah, if no, you think I, you can I think it's get okay. it other ways. Well, no, yeah. I think it's okay. okay. I make a motion to approve it as it is. 1.46% increase. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, now, I just I want to explain the Board of Health expense because that has been changed around and that is about a 5% increase. Um, so these are the changes that you, right. these are the changes you requested that the two of you, well, that were discussed prior yeah. to me, me walking in. With Dick. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> yeah. No, this, and Dick and I sat down. We, what the, what the, what is, there's, a, we have the nurse our um, visiting nurse, which is, we pay about $52 an hour, it works out to be, for our eight hours to the FERCOG, which is 21500 And then I had asked for an additional nursing, a separate line item for follow-ups and, um, because in my mind, there's no backup. So <coughs> the reason why it's only $5,000 is because I, I perceive this as a backup to Lisa because Lisa is a nurse for 14 communities. Mm -hmm. We only have her, you know, in an emergency who knows how many hours, but she's hard pressed, you know, to do our, our business. So it would be really lovely to have another person to do home visits and stuff like that and to work with Lisa who can do Maven, who can do our, um, Maven is our electronic required response. Mm -hmm. um, someone is checking that on a regular basis. And what I'm hoping to do is is to get someone who has just retired, who lives in the community and has a commitment to our community, or someone that's really young that, you know, doesn't want a full-time job because they got little kids or something like that, but is interested in doing community nursing um, so that they'd have a commitment to us and are solely our nurse. And um, and would act as a backup to Lisa. And this started because um, I was putting together the tabletop exercise that we had um, two weeks ago on Monday um, for non-pharmaceutical uh, interventions. If you had a pandemic happening, and this is nothing, to, we were doing this in September, so again, what would you do? What community services would be necessary? What, what interventions would you do? and um, what would you do in your community? And it was really clear that we just don't have any capacity and that we just needed some additional people. So I felt for $5,000, we could get some initial, um, you know, a commitment from maybe one or two people or 
at least one person that would back up Lisa, would be um, ha give us extra capacity, but also would be helpful in the community when we have to do home visits and check on people, wellness, you know, calls, stuff like that. I mean, it takes time to do that stuff. I do some of that, and it's just, it's, it's overwhelming, really, because you, you've got to check a lot of people on a regular basis. We have triad. Sharon Pachorik, make sure, and Nancy Pachorik, make sure we have really good connection with that, and, and they really do check on people, but we still need to do more. And um, especially if we have this crisis happening, it's critical that we kind of respond to that. So, so you've this, raised about 250 bucks for mileage and gas. You've, yeah. you've cut the infection control by 600, like in half. Yeah, but I, I think, I'm nervous about that. Yeah, no, that was doing. before this happened. I know. And this, this I was, know. we always have had traditionally $1,200 because it's really what you do is if we, rabies goes in cycles. Mm -hmm. So every six or f five or six years, seven years, we actually expend $1,200 or more on rabies, You're sending in, you know, samples to DPH to test. Well, you've taken down some money out of, Mosquito control out of dues, 500 out of dues. Um, well, I was trying to keep 2,500 out of mosquito and 100 bucks out of postage. And then the, I, the infection control, I kind of feel like that should almost stay the same. But um, I, I'm actually agreeing with you on that one. I, what I was trying to do is to try to make the increase as reasonable as possible. Right. And, look at long-term trends. And again, this was, we did this months ago, so. No, I understand. This is before this all came out. Um, but, um, so I, I. The dues, I just don't know what we have for dues. Is well, dues is, we uh, well, it's the Massachusetts um, Health Officers I Association, uh, Dick don't and know I. How often, anybody know how often we spent pen? How, how often what? And how often on the dues for our? Uh, there is there is one thing that comes out of the dues line item uh, when we pay um, for Cog. Yeah. It's 150, I think, at the beginning of the year. So we have that that comes out of there. We have the association association of boards of health, the Mass. Association. Yes. Yes. So there's there's usually that one. There's usually um, one. Figure that one. But it may I, have been another one. But too. there was a reason we brought it down to 500 because we were looking covered. at the history and yeah. saying, okay, Thank what do you. we really yep. spend? Yeah. If you're not going to spend And felt like that was a little. Well, more we turn what it is. We turn back back little bits of money. So yeah. what we did is shave that. down all the little bits of money given mm -hmm. the history. But mm -hmm. now in retrospect, maybe that's not, we shouldn't, this is not the year to cut all this stuff, but well, I don't know. I mean, the dues, like the Mass um, Health Officers Association, the reason why you, we pay dues is for that is then when we go to sign up for, um, you know, workshops and seminars, you get the reduced rates. So mm -hmm. that actually pays for itself, right. the dues to that. We, and you have to stay current on this stuff and you have to keep your certifications up. Um, so do we think with money coming from the state and deficit spending the infection control, we can leave it at 600 or is it better to budget for the 1200? I don't know, I mean, if you're looking at it strictly by rabies, I think we can, we're going to overspend, likely overspend every five or six years by maybe a couple hundred bucks. But I'm just thinking of we had talked about maybe using that line item, but you think maybe you would actually make a new line item. I'm I'm thinking a new line item mm -hmm. as as we're talking about it. I'm thinking about when when we had the Steelwater Bridge, we set up a whole separate line item for yeah, that we so we could deficit spend. And I think it'd be better to pull that out of this budget completely for that Infectious reason, don't you disease. think? Yeah. yeah that, that's yeah, my that's my 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 thought at this I'm, point I'm, in time as I we're talking. I just wanted us to think that. about how we were gonna. Do you yeah. have to fund that with like ten bucks or something like that? Just um, it's got to have some funding in it, right? What's that? That line would have to have some funding in it. No, right? you're authorized. No, when when you ha when you have a, a deficit spend, I believe I believe it doesn't matter. I, you don't have to start off with a dollar. No, you call you know, DOR and you tell yeah. them you declared an emergency and you anticipate Correct. your expenses to be X. And it's going to come I out of this line item. And I would say okay. we could anticipate expenses like at this point of 25000 or something mm -hmm. and let them. Okay. And then it, then we call them back and say, well, you know, maybe we'll have to spend thirty-five or whatever. Yeah. You just keep, keep them updated. They don't really care. 
As long okay. as they're in the site, you know, as long as they're in the... And I don't remember the exact procedure that we needed to go through for that. You remember what we had to do? Well, okay. yeah, we just called DOR and you, you tell them that we declared an emergency and that well, we're going to set up a separate account and we anticipate 25000 in extra expenses or something like that. I mean, at this point, we don't well, have money. We don't have an idea of what our expenses are. So then we may the not have to... What's that? Put, might be worth the call to Tom. Yeah, I thought I thought there had to be a, a specific written. Uh, you do. Yeah, that's why we that's did declare. Mm -hmm. You have to show them. You have to fax them this. So the do we thing. need the twelve hundred in here or not? I'm just those my question. I think on a normal basis, I I would maybe we leave it at the six hundred right. uh, because well, because we went through that anyways. with a fine tooth comb to make sure that it was more appropriate like for the discussion you had was yeah. based on yeah. you know the background data from the last several years, right? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, your rabies is, usually goes in cycles. Yeah, it's cyclical. And, and you're talking a couple hundred bucks, so that mm -hmm. couple hundred bucks can come under gas or something. Yeah, I was going to say, most, most years we're spending less than 100. Yes, I know. It's usually one or two. So, so I think we'll just have to look back at this 5,000 bucks when we get into figuring out this budget this year. That's going to be the hard that's part. That's the only new, I, I mean, know. that is the new expenditure, and that I feel like it's really justified, certainly with this activity that's happening but the idea was that with climate change you're having um, different diseases and just like you get more intense rainstorms you're gonna have more disease stuff and this I, is part of it I get it I'm just thinking like when we get to trying to figure out the budget as a I whole know, we're in a world of hurt that's gonna be the, the first thing to go to just well, some warning on that <laughs> I'm gonna argue with okay you, you can argue but I, okay. I, I, I would support you I just think it's okay I'm, I'm going to be a I feel like year. it might be a heavy lift. It's not a, it's not a question. It's not going to be a question of taking this and this and this. It's going to be a question of, well, if we need to remove money from the budget, what's it going to be? Right. I mean, I that's know. Know. What, what, what services are we going to cut? Right. Basically. Right. Right. So I make a motion we approve this yeah. as as we as presented, and then we work on it later. Okay. okay. Any uh, a second? Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so maturing debt. Um, <laughs> so here's where we have here's where we, we have, have the real yet? big discussion. Have a teenager yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Okay, because underneath that is the sewer, and then. Yep. Um, I wonder if we could, if we could, before we, we, we look at debt, can we sure. go to the whole picture and, yep. and look at that? Further because then, you then, then that'll the give you a better context for do what. Do you want to do the sewer payroll and sewer expense first to get those done, or do you want to? No, nope, let's, nope. let's, let's wait with those two okay. because, because what we're going to do with debt affects, yeah. So if we could go so to this, she, yeah, these, her, these her, budget sheets. The last few sheets are her And then, um, did the you hand budget. them the, um, the revenues? Yep. Oh, you did. Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So right before the colorful we, sheets so, are the So this is when we get a headache? Sheet. This is, when this is where you get, get a headache, headache. yes. Yeah. Oh, man, this I feel what's coming on. So coming I'm, on. Just gonna, I'm just going to have you flip. Somebody left their lights on. A black Honda. Oh, okay. Anybody uh -oh. have a black Honda? It Not might be. There's a gentleman in your office. And might be There's somebody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Might be yeah. there. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. I thought you were moaning at my headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. If you let's just go to page four. Okay. Let's just go to page oh, four of the of the expenditures. Oh, of the expenditures. Yep. Let's okay. look at the expenditures, and then we yep. can look at the revenues. All right. Um, our um, Where are you? our current last page. Last page. Omnibus budget is. Four hundred and ninety-one thousand dollars higher than last year, and that's four hundred and ninety-one thousand more than what it was after we had uh, taken free cash to put money into the select board staff salaries, the inspection salaries, and into the planning board. Mm. Um, so, with that said, I haven't recalculated this. That puts it as a, at a 3.25% increase in our omnibus budget over what we did with additional free cash money. So then, um, so that's the, that's the grand total that's up on the upper, 
upper third of the page. But then down below are all of the warrant articles that we would have. So we have the reserve fund, that's pretty standard. We have um, the South County EMS um, subs uh, subsidy, um, the Dickinson Trust money, which is an in and out that comes from the, the trust fund. Mm -hmm. You have the Smith Voke yep. um, for the one student that's attending there. And the transportation for that student. Yes, and yep. then OPEB funding, which is, yep. Uh, this is the minimum. This is this, this is, is the, the minimum 4%. according to the yep. policy. Exactly. There is money that comes in on the revenue side that supports that from both of our enterprise funds and mm -hmm. from the senior center. Yeah. Um, now the next line item is one that I think we have to seriously consider, and yes. that's the stabilization fund. Yeah. Um, the um, the CIPC had recommended 250. Yeah. But I had to bring it down to 200 just to make the balance, the budget balance. Right. Yep. So th that will be something we need to look at. And then the very next line item is capital requests. Yeah. I think we need to seriously consider um, that. We do. I, I, I know you had some concerns. Um, uh, it came to. Um, uh, it came as part of a conversation today. Uh, there was there was one item on that CIPC request that could actually be put off till next year that maybe we'd be able to take out. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, snow and ice. I'm just right now we're we're almost at ninety thousand on snow and ice, so we're we're just even with the budget. If we have any more snow or any ice, we're going to be over budget. I'm, I just threw in twenty thousand. Yeah. Just just right. to have something in there. Okay. Um, we've got the 350th celebration um, allocation of 10,000, mm -hmm. and then we've got the capital request from Frontier Regional for those three items that they need to fix yeah. for the 23,959. You add all those together, and that comes to just under a million. 16 million 553 So let's go to the revenue detail, and I'll explain those. Okay. This one. <clears throat> you had um, what was the total together? You said sixteen. Um, it's it's on your revenue detail, but it's sixteen million five fifty three seven fifty two. On on the back page on the on the back side of it, Trevor, right at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Grand total, sixteen right. million. Yeah. Five. Right yeah. Uh, two. Five fifty three seven fifty two. Right so. Okay. Yep. I tried to look at these revenues as realistically as possible. So when it came to the tax levy, I actually plugged in 125,000 for new growth. I know that's a little high. It's less than what we've had for the, each of the last four years. But if that ends up being too high, then we've got to adjust our local receipts to accommodate. But I just, I thought that was sort of reasonable. A little high, but a little, little sort of reasonable. It depends. Where, uh, it depends if we what do you can. normally budget? Where are you here again? Well, again? I, I had a, oh, new growth. I had growth. taken an 80 oh, percent of of the last four years. Uh, last year, I did 80 percent of the last four years average, right. and it was like 106 thousand or something like okay. that. Right. And I and so I thought I, I thought you know 125. I think is fairly reasonable. If it if it ends up at only a hundred thousand, we could absorb twenty five thousand in right. our local receipt budget. Fifty thousand difference would would not too be much. as easy to do. Okay. But if if it's if it's two hundred thousand, <coughs> then yeah. that's that's an adjustment to Can the you other direction. Uh, tell me where you're showing the one. You said one twenty five. I, yeah, I, it's not it's not in it's this not particular detail. I, I okay. could have printed that for you, but I didn't. Um, because so are we looking at uh, local receipts right now, or what no? Are no, at? I was just looking at property taxes, the very top line item. Okay. So it's just taxes. You're you're talking about your 2.5 percent plus new growth. Yeah. Um, and then um, your your um, excluded debt. Right. Okay. Um, on the cherry sheet, revenues and expenditures. That is the governor's budget. Right. Okay. And, and you'll see it's budget. it's quite a jump from last year, so that that it is. that it's helps. Two point eight percent, exactly what he promised. Yeah, eighty five thousand dollars. They'll have a bit of negotiation um, by the time we get the House and the Senate out. We're asking for a little bit of stuff, so hopefully it will come. From, but it will be a negotiation. It always yeah. is. Yes. I can't say that we're going to have it for sure. Yeah. No. 
So the safest, safest <coughs> at least in, in my estimation, the safest way to go every year is to just use the governor's budget and mm -hmm. then wait till the rest flushes out for the right. tax recap in the yep. fall. Right. Um, overlay, um, we actually, all the previous numbers are actuals. So the, the actual overlay that they had at, for fiscal 20 is only 48,009, uh, but we've already overspent that. <coughs> So I thought 60,000 was a reasonable number. We've done 60,000 in the past mm -hmm. or close to it. Um, so mm -hmm. I left it there just, just to have a number in there. Then on local receipts, uh, the, next, the next section. Whew. Um, mm -hmm. I plugged in some increases here that I'm not totally comfortable with, but right. based, it's, it's actually, you know how we've, in the past, we've taken local receipts and we've averaged them for the last five years and then said, okay, what's an 85% yep. of that to be right. conservative? And we've budgeted generally about 85, maybe 80 to 85%. I'm, I'm going closer to 90% on this. That makes me wicked nervous with the economy the way it's going to be. Yeah. It, it, yes, it does. Um, I would feel very uncomfortable with that, actually. I, okay. I know normally if this had if we hadn't had COVID nineteen, uh, I well, would before before you say you're uncomfortable with it, let's get to the bottom line first, and then you can say you're uncomfortable. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, go ahead. So so um, if you if you look at like motor vehicle excise though, um, the lowest year in the last five years of income was six hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars. So it's six hundred and twenty five. Uh, you know, yeah. maybe maybe it's a maybe maybe it's a little high, but I think I think you it's know, something that we can 09. absorb. But oh, you have to keep in mind in that 09. your free cash is going to be less. What, right. what happened? In, uh, what was the? Pre I know where we got hit was the um, excise tax in 09 mm -hmm. to 10, or it was actually 10 to 11. It so, both both excises, motor vehicle right. excise and room and meals tax, both. So oh, so wh what was like we had? We've always been conservative on how we estimate that but how much under in that cycle were we under do you remember I don't if remember you, that if you year look at the total local receipts in the last last year 2019 was 2.2 .2 million 18 was 2.2 million 17 Where am I looking at that I'm looking at it oh you have I've got it written down here for other reasons but so I'm just giving it to you so that you have it. 2.4 million and 17. Can I get a photocopy of that? So I, or do you have uh, it, Brenda? I, I, and, I, then it's, and, and then it's 1.9 million in 16. So there's between 16 and 17, there's a $500,000 increase. So, and then in 15, 2.1. I guess the point is that the worst situation we've been well, in in the last five years was 1.9 yes, million. Yes, but 10 skip, years. I, I was just going to say, Skip, you 10 know. 10 years, 1.6 1. 1. Uh, million. 1.6 in, in 2009 or 10? 11. 11. What about that was, 10? Yeah. 10. 1.7 million. I, yeah, but because we were, we've always been really conservative and we always ran. I think, I think in this case, we are being relatively conservative. Nonetheless, there are other items that would be added in there that aren't there. So wait till we get to the bottom line, and then you can. Uh, I know. Yeah, we, well, you know, part, part of part of the reason discussion. we budget conservatively with local receipts. Part of it, part of it is that cushion right, for when right. we have the downturn. Part of it too is you never collect a hundred percent of your taxes. Correct. <laughs> There's We're always, good. always a, a portion good. of those that go into title to uh, tax title, and so then you lose that. Or, or it doesn't happen until the following year. So right. that is also the cushion for that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so go to the back side. Uh, the rest of this is pretty standard. Um, we had a premium on our, on our bond, the receipts reserved for debt. We had a premium on that bond for the garage that has to be amortized over the 20 years. That's all that is. Where, where is that? Uh, second, that's it's on page two, the second, second line. Receipt for Other funding for sources. Debt. Okay. And then the next three items are the indirect costs from each of our um, the two enterprise funds and the senior center. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, um, then a little bit further down is just the roadside mower fund. So 
we have an expenditure in our budget right. for the 26000 We have the income here. It's just an offset. And then the Dickinson Library Trust, you remember that being on our expenditure, there's the income for it. But go to that bottom section, look at it. The free cash that we had left after the fall meeting was was a million seventy seven thousand seven forty two, and can with you, this you budget, just, can you slow a right sec? Right so here. you're yep. um, you're all the way at the bottom now. Yep. Down okay. In free cash. Yep. yep. Sorry, I, I was going a little fast, wasn't I? Yeah. Free cash certified. Okay. So that was what we had left after we spent the money that we did in the fall to supplement the budgets and to um, do the grant matches. But what was left? The the million seventy seven thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but in order to make this budget a balanced budget at the sixteen million five fifty three seven fifty two, we've spent all but fifty seven thousand of our free cash. That's all we're leaving on the table. I just don't think that that's a smart. Yeah, we've left what last year we left two thirty six because we and, and even that even that was uh, well, that was pretty was low. I know yeah, and, and, and pay off the other property. And part yeah, of that part of that two thirty six actually got used later, so yes. it ended up being like one hundred and seventy four thousand that we carried over. So, right. so fifty seven thousand is too low. So something yep. something has to give. Something has to give, but <laughs> but our expenditures don't have anything in there yet for anything for the wastewater treatment plant. Right, and we need 25% So, so of not only plans. have we overspent already, but we don't have anything in there for that. Yep. Um, so that's why I say things need to be looked at a little yeah. more. Yeah. Um, so now, with the wastewater treatment plant, if we're doing debt exclusion, you've got an expense and you've got an income that, it, that would equal. Right. right, so that so with project. the clarifier, that's not debt excluded. Correct. So that's coming off of our taxes or off of our local research, whatever, Actually, off of our revenues. There's nothing in here for the clarifier. Nothing, nothing yeah, for any of the wastewater. We have to put the money. <clears throat> What's that? We have to pay for that. Correct. Correct. Well, when do we pay for it? It's the question. Uh, well, and we'll and we we can you know we can <laughs> we can hold that in the capital projects fund for a while, but um, it, I don't think it's it a smart to start. thing to do. So, addressing the issue. So we do need to start paying it down. Um, and that's going to be about, well, maybe 200000 to the town. Correct. I, I, I have, um, I've, I've figured up the expenses to date and the, and the contracts that we have for that so far. Yeah. And we're at 756000 That's in this one. Um, but that's with no change orders and that's right. without the, without yet. that that right. uh, so temporary one even being built yet they just that started is, that right but you you have been paying some bills on that yes, yes. Uh, about okay. 21,000 so far uh, Kevin estimated that it could be another 20,000 maybe yeah. another 40 on the outside chance once they get it up so i thought yeah. okay maybe a reasonable figure is 800,000 Right. It'll probably be more than that, but but yeah, we figured a million, but we yeah, if we can get this done for a little less, that's great. So and twenty five percent of that eight hundred is what you're thinking? Which is two hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, or do you do you spread it out over a couple of years? Do you do a hundred and fifty this year? I mean, you know, the right. wastewater treatment plant has to pay for their seventy five percent of do. whatever we decide to. Yeah. So Correct. um um, and I and I wasn't sure how much of that could come out of retained earnings or how much of it has to be actually put into their operating. Well, don't we have to look at retained earnings to see what we? I don't know what retained. Yeah, retained I don't. I don't know what we're required to keep by USDA yeah, in retained gotta, earnings because right, exactly there's that. a there's a I, mm -hmm. I know Dave Prickett knows that number right. uh, and, and I probably have it in my pile of stuff. I just don't know where it is. Yeah. Um, it didn't sound like there was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in retained earnings that we could use immediately to pay down this the whole their, thing their, right their, off the yeah, bat yeah i mean there's right there's there probably be. a million four in there right now something like that and that yeah it's a, well it was a million three that was certified okay yeah and then and we've had some income but uh right so 
Um, right, and, and we, we you, hold a bunch of that for the USDA. So and keep in mind that we most likely will take out some kind of debt for this, like a like a short term ban or whatever. Mm -hmm. right. So you'll have the principal, but you'll also have a little yeah. interest too right. that's that's associated with that that has yeah. to be put into both of those budgets. Well, Which brings borrow, us to maturity debt. We can borrow debt. that too, actually. Right. That's what I said. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, and, and, that, and that doesn't even take into account any of the money from the phase one because we have to pay the first 250000 Now, we can hold yep. that in the capital projects fund until 2022 if we want um, so well, that we can get the clarifier taken care of. But at least with that one, the, the debt is, is debt excluded. Right. Correct. We're not, get, we're not getting hit with 100% percent Right. Um, you'll see also on that um, that maturing debt sheet that that Barb had put on there, um, the the debt associated with the repurchase of the New England, uh, natural, New England bakers. natural Bakers. Um, right now, we have a, a loan out there that's coming due at the end of April. She did just a six month term because we thought we'd get this thing right. sold right oh, away. I know. Um, so w she has she has the interest portion of it um, in the interest section. Right? Well, yeah, she she has she has just a, an estimate of what it might be if we took out another one year. Right. So eight thousand, um, and that's in the next one. Interest on maturing debt. Right. Be positive. We're gonna sell our. Well, that's the thing. We cost. we have to do some. If she takes this out another RFP, six month loan, not getting out is. Well, it's that's and that's what she wants some direction on. She sent out an email this afternoon, but it, it got rejected somehow or another. But she was asking for some direction. Um, first, first we have the the school roof ban, mm -hmm. right. and and right now uh, the balance of our account is five hundred and twenty-six thousand four eighty-six. We're going to pay down the hundred thousand because that's yep. in our fiscal twenty budget. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take out a loan for four hundred and twenty-six thousand four eighty-six. Okay. Now she's going to uh, schedule that for the that bid for the beginning of um, for the week beginning March 30th, but then for the New England Natural Bakers, um, that loan is 358,780. Um, she took out a six month ban, so it's due April 30th. She needs to know by beginning of April again of April. what we, we what we want to do with that. Whether it's going to be a six month, whether it's going to be a year. What we're going to do with that? Do we have Do we have a timeline on when the RFP is going to go out? It's dependent on what we get back for the survey information, and we're still waiting to hear back. There were a couple of things that yeah, we had to make a copy of that clarification for... on, and I don't have Heritage's response yet. I know they did go out and do the the that is definitely the, screwed up mm -hmm. the road work on it or the the site work on it. Sorry. Um, but they have to make some corrections to that survey in order to be for it to be discussed before we can put the RFP out. Okay. Well, we we have I, to get a timeline to Barbara, but I would say it's going to be a year. I don't. I think I would say borrow for a year. I, I would yeah, do it. I would do it for for a year. Yeah. I mean, if you I don't, if you pay safe, it, if you pay it off, you're not going to pay interest for a year. Right. Well, exactly. Right. So yeah. if, even if they charge you slightly more. From two percent to two point two and a quarter, it's just right. it's not that many dollars, no. and it keeps Barbara from having to worry about going back out in the middle of the year and doing it again. every six months. Six yeah, months we want to make really it easier. All right. Right. We can. All right, I'm just so mad that this didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know if we decided anything on this. Uh, you, we're, well, yeah, New we England just decided. Bakers would be a year. So you decided on a year for that. Do you want? Uh, do you think yeah. we should vote on that, Brenda? Or do you want us to vote on that, or just uh, tell Barb? Um, I think we can just tell Barbara. I yeah. don't think it requires a vote. Okay. I, I didn't know if we had to vote. What was the but amount? It, what's that? Do you remember what the amount was? Three hundred and fifty-eight thousand seven eighty yep. is the amount of of that that um, loan. Actually, the rates are so low that it should actually be pretty inexpensive. So reasonable. Might as well, just I think a yeah, year is more reasonable. So do it for a year. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree with that actually. So we're not going to pay off anything from that. On no. which one? On, on, on the, New England the Natural Bakers. We're going to we're just going to hold the same amount. Leave that as a zero, and then the clarifier, uh, one million dollar authorization. Um, we don't plan to pay anything 
down on that or do we I'm trying to think the clarifier I, I think we need think to budget do, something for yeah. this yeah. for this I year because we, we have a lot coming up uh, right. with the 19 million um, and so the question is what are we going to budget but yeah whether it whether typically, you stand maturing typically that. the interest is part of the cost of so when we built as far as I know when we built the school we had to pay every month an interest payment or every yeah whatever right. it was but that was added to the total cost of the project. So, I mean, I guess you'd need to check with, with Barbara. Uh, ac ac uh, um, I don't know about the roof. Your, your debt payment has to come out of your general fund and out of the, out of the operations of the wastewater treatment right. plant. So, um, so, no, it does, not, it does not go into the cost, not, not as far as the capital project fund goes. So how much do we have to put to get put down on that clarifier this this year? I mean, we you can you, to do you any amount, that's right? totally your decision as, as to whether how much we put down because it how, can how it can sit in the to capital to pay, projects fund to pay that. Yeah. Um, and we can continue to pay interest interest on a loan for it. Or we can just pay but, it off. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that that was the discussion. I guess I mean, I guess because we problem. don't really you can't know. Just pay it off. I, I, I would well, feel, but but see here again. If you put anything in here, out of, out that means capital, you've got to take mean? that same amount out of some place on the budget. Right. We could put a hundred down. I mean, we have. We I mean, it might. Capital. Did did you did you look at the bottom line? No, I'm talking about our our capital, right? You're taking out of capital to pay this project, mm -hmm. no. right? It has no. to be out there's, of capital. There's a capital, capital project fund that I have to set up for every capital project we have, so all of the uh, expenditures just keep adding up in that <clears throat> capital projects fund and then we we take out loans for it and then as you pay down the loans then it goes into each of the budgets I don't I don't we don't really know what the disruption factor is going to be to our economy so I just want to make sure we're being very conservative and that we're keeping our cash flow as much yeah, as possible. Yeah, it just means we're going to have to cut so places, you also so. have a stabilization fund. Well, that's what not, I, I not that I would encourage the use of that regularly, but you do have a stabilization fund. Well, I thought that this that is a capital project too. It's a well, you have a capital stabilization, was, but you, you have a general that, stabilization we pull as well. From some money this year, fifty thousand, or you took you took two hundred and fifty thousand out of stabilization already. No, I don't. For you took took two hundred thousand out of stabilization. 000. Yes. Uh, for, for the, the match for the right. grant four, correct? But I was thinking if, if yeah. that project, four. if we're on the hook for two hundred thousand, if we took the next four years and paid fifty thousand on each of those plus some interest, I'm sure because we'll have some loan. But um, we took the next four years to pay off that clarifier, uh, fifty thousand a piece out of the capital stabilization. Is that a, a sound way to do it? Out of capital stabilization. It's a capital project. I assume that's what well. We're the reason do. that we have a capital stabilization was the intent was to uh, use that to cover the, the annual cost of the capital capital as opposed to free cash, right? Program, yes. And, but you have uh, you have and your then we would put a fixed amount on an right. annual basis back in. It keeps correct instead of doing this with the budget, it does this right. Well, that so, that was. This is this is not a capital, the kind of capital program that we were looking at, for the capital uh, stabilization fund. Why it's the though? trucks. But uh, but you do have your your general stabilization. You got general that you stabilization. Right. Which well, I think one of the two. I was thinking we would pay this out of you know the money that we have had saved up to do these kind of projects. I mean, we didn't a big save expense. any okay. money up to do these projects. Well, in well, capital, we have, capital well, stabilization. Well, we haven't budgeted and haven't saved, haven't spent any money on our infrastructure in town. And that money has been sitting there in stabilization, either in general or capital, to do these projects. I mean, we, we right? took We took a million dollars out of stabilization with the, uh, with the garage. Highway garage. Right. And since then, we have put, as far as I know, not one cent back into stabilization. We put it into capital. We did, well, we put we put what is it six hundred thousand so far mm -hmm. right. into capital stabilization, right. with the intent that that one is being built to the million dollar level. I mean, if you don't want to do that, you can take the whole six hundred thousand out. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I just want to you know spread the pain a little bit. 
So, you know, eventually, you know, I still plan to put in, hopefully to put into to stabilization this year, capital stabilization, if we can. Well, somehow. you've got 200,000. Is it 200,000? That's Brenda? what's listed, but that's not realistic. Uh, capital stabilization, is it 200,000? In this budget. Yes. Yes, that's what we had. had so you could one of those items put 150 and take 50, put, put it You could do it. that. Right. I mean, I would much prefer to do that than to actually take money out of it. That, yeah, whether yeah, yeah, I don't like exactly. that idea either, but that's but that's well, preferable. Actually, I, I think uh, yeah, I, I feel most I think I feel most comfortable with that because this could be the year, one of the reasons why we are building up our capital. Yeah, stabilization. right. Building so, up the capital makes sense. I think it makes so more sense we, to do that and consider taking it out so of we general just put stabilization a bit less because we haven't done any of that work. You know, Some any of that expenditure or money put away for these projects. This isn't an asset that can three years. die. Right. This is an asset that has to keep moving. Oh, yeah. There's, there's not, you know. There's not, there's not a problem there. I mean, it's, it, it's really a question of what's the repayment plan. And I don't think we... We haven't you know, really settled on that yet. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. And I think that's what's giving everybody heartburn. From my observation, right? <laughs> well, and we're talking in this case, we're talking about uh, the, a million the, bucks to clarify. <laughs> right. When we talk about the nineteen million dollar, yeah, one. Now, now you're now that one will give everybody heartburn. But at it least will. that's debt excluded, so you can take, you know. Yeah, but that's over spread it's out. Give it to, it's it's again, still going to give people heartburn. Yeah, but that's again. Heartburn, but everybody understands that's spread what it out is. over and thirteen years. This is we're 40 not years. Or 40, 40, 40 years. Oh, okay. 40 years. USDA well, I meant the project no, itself yes. is 13 years. Yeah. So it's not like it's happening next year. Well, and then we have to worry the about The 4 is in, in a yeah. matter of three years. I know, but. But paying it off is a matter of 40. Yes. So, so or we need to 20 be, if we can. 30 years. That's a good so, investment. Yes. You wanted to know what was in general stabilization. It's about 1.3 million right now. And I'm sorry, we did put we put two hundred and fifty thousand in general stabilization. When we put two fifty in capital, ago. right? Yes. And we that's did right. the same in capital. Yes, that's right. We, we did five hundred. We have been year. really trying when we have better years to be to to try to put away. But we do have a lot of projects that we we I need know. to start to and and realistically we've been kicking the can down the road and we gotta you know, that's what the town well, we that's, put money that's aside. What it, yeah. We can't ask taxpayers to keep paying. And then we squirrel away all this money, and we're just sitting on money. Well, we're not squirreling away, Hola. Not at there is not some this money year, put away, though. But we have put money away. We put a we put a grand total in the last, I'm going to say what, roughly ten years, since we did the since we built the garage. We put two hundred fifty thousand into stabilization, general stabilization, yeah. and six hundred thousand into capital stabilization. We we, we that's eighty five thousand dollars a year on average, give or take. We're still putting money aside, and we're not spending it. So, so we're not spending it because the, but it was in in, so in anticipation of of a rough year. Uh, well, right. in, in anticipation of projects coming up. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what you put. That's what stabilization is for. Is yeah, these capital asset management projects. I know. So, so we put away a hundred uh, eight hundred and fifty thousand in the last three fiscal yeah. years. Yeah. So that's I, pretty I would feel comfortable. Doing 150 to capital stabilization and 50 to the to the project for the next you know four years and have it done. Or um, well, whatever we can. We don't know what our. I was going to say. So if you do that, you're what, still only leaving 57,000 on the in, table in free I cash. Yeah, just yeah. at least for that part of the project. And we still have to keep going down the list. But I, I'm so far at this moment. So <laughs> 20 that's, that's for discussion purposes. We're not. We're not making a no, decision tonight, but I'm just thinking that would be one way one way to, to start paying off that clarifier uh, as a plan in the next four, four or you, years. You could give me some suggestions on yeah. what I could put in there, and then I could play with the numbers and yeah. see where we're so at, I, too. I would, you know, my suggestion would be to do the, the 150 on the capital stabilization and the, and the 50 on the clarifier. And right, and that makes us fairly balanced, right? So far. So far. With the idea that we pay yeah. off the... the uh, the clarifier, clarifier over four, four years. Year four year period. Yep. Yeah. And if we have to stretch it because next year is miserable. And so then, so then, if we if we budget for fifty thousand, then that means they should budget for a hundred hundred thousand. Who? They. 
150,000. Correct. Sewer yeah. Retained sewer. earnings. 200,000. The sewer group. Plus and whatever interest there is that has to be paid down. Right. Exactly. 200,000 in total. 50,000 from the town side. 150 from um, the mm -hmm. wastewater. Yep. Right. Exactly. Right. Yep. Reserve. Sewer okay. reserve. Plus whatever. And that they should be able to swing interest. that in this year with the reserves mm -hmm. that we've built up, I think, mm -hmm. and then start working on the other bigger projects. They can probably swing the 200 um, the whole. So take that out of retained earnings. Yes. Yes. Yep. And then. Um, and then uh, the, the bigger project? So the bigger project, I didn't think we were going to be paying down anything on that. This well, we've, we've already paid. Um, I know we've paid some money, right? Correct. How much correct. for the engineering? Um, 60000 Right. And But we're due sense? to pay. What's that? By the end of this year, I'm trying to think of how much we're due to pay by the end of the fiscal year. I don't know, but. I had that calendar. Of, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's in and the office. I remember seeing it. Um, I might have it so I'm just wondering <clears> how. <throat> We've got to figure the first two. The, the engineering years. contract is 1.6 million right. or 1.7 million. So um, I'm sure that we're going to be. We're going to be in a 250 pretty quick before we can. Right. Along. So here's the deal: if we if we don't take out debt before the end of the fiscal year, then our free cash gets reduced by that negative amount, whatever we've spent. It makes the free sense cash to do in the, the in the clarifier. In, I mean, in the sewer reserve. Enterprise, Any anything enterprise in a capital project fund that's negative, if it ha if it doesn't have debt to support it, yeah. then that that docks our free cash. Yes. But the, does it dock uh, both both the general budget and the enterprise fund, this, oh. or just the enterprise fund, or? I assume it would be twenty five seventy five, right? It would no. It would it would it would dock the the general fund. Yeah. Free cash, will. not not the whole amount. We experienced of that. that in Nashville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you really should do your debt. So that so 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 we'll have to take out debt before the end of the fiscal year, which means that we at least have to pay interest on the debt um, in fiscal twenty one. So. Um, so how much is interest on? I mean, I don't know if so that whole thing won't be out. paid by. I would wait to see what we're spending, like you know, uh, right, start at the end, of, uh, beginning of June, end of May, and look at it and say, okay, this is what we've spent. Right. We should take out a loan for that amount. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and whether you do it for a year or whether you do it for six months before you pay down, I. I right. So maybe we should make an adjustment on interest on maturity well, really? debt after we look at some of those expenses and just. I mean, it's not a bullseye. It's a it's a throwing a dart so at a dartboard type where, of thing. Right. Where do we plan? As long as it's solidified by the time I do the tax recap, we're right. good. Yep. So d does the town need to pay? So I'm just thinking of town and sewer fund. So enterprise fund on this 250 that we need to pay for the USDA before we can they start picking up the tab for a while, or we have a loan. Obviously, we pay the tab, but. Um, is that again 50 from or 75 from the town and mm -hmm. so really the town needs 75 to from the wastewater treatment right. plant and 25 percent from the town and and that you can choose to pay down over a period of time too whatever whatever mm -hmm. that uh whatever your choice is on that one that's and that was debt excluded that one is debt excluded so we're gonna whatever the debt we pay down mm -hmm. we're gonna add to that. the taxes will increase the taxes to cover that. Right. We can't so, do it with a clarifier. The clarifier is the one not. piece we can. Yes. So we'll do you want to do you want to pay down a little bit of it in fiscal 21 just to start get things rolling? On the uh, No, cuz we we want we want to borrow whatever we can borrow from from that uh, federal grant. Right. Right. Mhm. Mm so, um what do we uh, so do we need we don't need we don't need any um, do we need to put any dollar amount on the maturing debt sheet or do we need to put it on the interest part we need to do both. For, for the the 19 million dollar project oh you don't have to put anything down 
Uh, okay. As far for as that 19. goes, except for the interest. If you decide to take right. out a loan and not pay anything down, then all you have is interest. So we so would have to put a number on interest. You would. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I thought we were going to be paying some. We're going to be paying the 250 Well, that's yeah. what I'm wondering. Where do we plan on pulling that from as well? Is that also from the... It, would that be from general stabilization? Which 250 are you talking about? The 250 that we that that we're required to pay up first up front first for this for this project. It's our kind of buy-in on on the the USDA loan. Where do we want to pay that from, and how soon? I, I mean, we have I to pay assume it. you're going to borrow that. Probably, unless we pulled some from somewhere and some. You from could the other. you could pay it all in fiscal 21 out of out of you know, and that would be the support for the omnibus budget, the um, 250 thousand from stabilization. Right. I mean, you I guess I would, it, it, because of the budget situation, I would delay making any decisions until you have no choice but to make a decision. Mm -hmm. I just want to get a plan. Right. Well, I just want, I just want us to think about it because we have a couple different options and we, we need to figure out what would be. Whether you pull it from stabilization or really those are the only pots of money to come up with in the short well, amount yeah. of time. Well, I mean, we don't. Let's, or you can see let's, what you have for free put, cash we, next year. Right? When do you okay, really? Yeah. When do you feel like we really have to? We need to give Barb some direction now. We, we yeah. need She's to give. She's got to make some decisions. Right, um, but 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 we need to make some decisions in the in the budget. We need to know what we yeah. need to cut, and then I, there needs to be some discussion about right. what we can cut. Everything is evolving so, I, I think so you fast. Need, well, that's I the only thing I want to figure out is this is this nineteen million dollar project. What are we going to need to spend this year for twenty twenty one? And then we'll know what, what we have to I cut from of, the main I, budget. I guess because so, everything is changing so fast, like within a day. I mean, if you don't, if you're not following the news in the day, you're like out of it. And so, I, I kind of want to. I, I, I think I, I'm opting to think that maybe we want to borrow it. We, we have the ability to borrow, and then, and that way we have some flexibility in our budget. If we, if we, start pinching our budget so much, which we normally would do, I would say. In a normal year, we would start, okay, this is what we're gonna shave off, this is what we're gonna shave off. We're gonna have to start shaving things off. We're now. going to, but we're not, I, I don't feel comfortable making a commitment because we're gonna be, we are in gonna, we, we've, we know we're gonna incur more costs. So we've already declared an emergency so we can take care of those expenses, but we're we're gonna have other things that are happening, and and I that you that we will not be reimbursed for, it and we're gonna have less revenue and but other. The, uh, so I that's just two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. Don't we, we still want have to pay come up that, with that money right off the bat and right. be, be yeah, but, but all in? I, I kind of want to just be able to borrow it if we're gonna roll it into some. What are we paying? One of our other. What's the that? interest what rates are, are so low? You're borrowing what sixty six hundred and. Sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars is what you'd borrow because the rest is going to have to come from the enterprise fund. It's just in the capital. They can't Project borrow, fund. right? Waiting no. for us to borrow. No, we have to, no. Yes. But that's why I'm saying I, I, I just. So I think we got to pay that I up don't, front, I know, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm what nervous do you think about taking that what, money out of stabilization. The sixty-two five is um, is our twenty-five percent of the two fifty. Out of the general, but out of for the general fund budgets. Yeah, as or opposed out of to wastewater for, enterprise for, fund. Now, what's the two fifty four again? The two fifty is that is the is our initial part that the town has to pay to get in the ball this, game to get any loan from USDA. It's so essentially it's a match. It's a match. Okay. Okay. So, so, it, so we're so going to have to come up with two hundred fifty thousand dollars right off the bat. We have to bat. stake the first like design cost, mm -hmm. right. and we've already spent sixty thousand. So you know that um, we will easily have spent more than two hundred fifty thousand before the end of this fiscal year. We could take out a loan and then plan to pay, pay down the 250000 in fiscal 21 before we renew. Right. It's a question of where we take the money from to pay the loan in 21, right? Well, with with the no, we, uh, with the nineteen million dollar project, it's right. it's debt excluded. Debt so we could just we, roll that into the tax rate. We would roll the whole two hundred and fifty. Well, oh. well we no, only the sixty two five. Sixty two five. The, five. The, it can go into there. We don't have to. But the rest of it has to come that. from the wastewater treatment plant somehow. Right. And um, what can we take out of retained earnings? I, that I, I, I we don't. We need so. to know what that number yeah. is that they require us. I don't, I don't for remember. some reason, I have eight hundred and fifty two thousand mm -hmm. stuck in my mind that that was the amount 
amount that had to stay in there. Does okay. that sound right to I you? Think that's yeah, right. I think that's right. Yeah, it does sound um, We do have a little bit of wiggle room in retained earnings, except I don't know what they have. And this is me not not having all the background on the Ooh. wastewater treatment plant so, budget. We so we that means rates to cover a lot of that. That means so. we can spend four hundred and sixty-seven thousand out of retained earnings in the wastewater treatment plant. You're planning on spending one hundred and fifty thousand with the clarifier. Yeah. And then um, what's the difference? The um, difference well, is are we two fifty no, minus sixty-two five yeah. is. Um, oh goodness, I'm not very good with this. One eighty-eight. Something like that. Yeah, I thought we were talking about five. borrowing for the clarifier. Yeah. What, what's that? So that so that's doable. Um, right. Because you're not going to pay 130,000 in uh, in so interest. We can, it's we can take right. the 1875 plus the clarifier project out of retained earnings this year. That gets them squared away. We can roll the 625 into borrowing. into borrowing, right? But uh, but do the 62.5 as an expenditure for this year that's rolled into our tax rate for right. fiscal 21. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that makes sense so far <laughs> until we get back at it. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then as far as the interest goes, uh, Barb will have to help us yeah, figure, figure out what, 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 what kind of interest we'd be paying like, on yeah. that. So and on then this we'll maturing debt. Um, so we're, we're talking about Nothing for New England Natural Bakers, fifty thousand for the clarifier this year, yep. and sixty-two five for the nineteen million dollar right. project or eleven million. Yep. Whatever. Okay. To get us going. Okay, and then the interest she'll help us with that on both of those. She will. Okay. Yeah. So right. then, so um, if you want to look at the sewer. Yep. Um, Really, nothing you can do with the salaries this portion of it. No. Um, it's pretty standard. Yep. Um, all the numbers for health insurance, county retirement, workers' comp, medical insurance, life insurance, those are all figured out with all the other budgets. Yeah. Okay. So I make a motion to approve the sewer payroll. Um, I'll second that. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then uh, sewer expense. That's the so. one I'm afraid of. Yeah. Um, so you add these two numbers together. Okay. So so sewer expense. Mm -hmm. um, I have budgeted in here an operational reserve according to the letter we got from USDA. They said forty-one thousand. Yeah. I hope that's right. I that's so right. I budgeted forty-one thousand for an operational reserve. It operates. Pretty much the same as scams does. Yeah. It just builds to retain earnings. They just yep. want it to build to retain earnings. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, I don't know. I can't remember what changes uh, Kevin made to this budget other than than the sludge uh, increase. That's the oh, here. Hey, I just found the. Um, it was in my. I put it in the sewer. Um, that works. Good God. Here's the, here's the. So Do we have any questions on how what we're supposed to pay out? What we're going to be paying out when? on the timeline? I think it's on the it might take might take a little bit of a. Yay, she has it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll look at that yeah, outside of the meeting, the and then and okay. then we can uh, maybe get back together on that. Okay. What, what do you think? Okay. Because I I, I yeah, think it fine. it could take up I an awful lot of time that. looking, but that's good. Thank you. Um, so you have sludge. Is what's out. the date on that, Carolyn? Um, oh, uh, this one was. January 10th. That's what I have too. There's nothing more more current. That's I was hoping there'd be something more current, more more uh, more final or more. No, because I think we're in that. The, the, they're doing the measurements we, for the clarifier. Oh, for the clarifier, the clarifier there. Let me so check the, that the uh, timeline okay. from Prickett as to oh, okay. as to what yeah. Yeah. what's going to happen when there was uh, a on that flurry project. Of email about January that 9th. about a week yeah, ago. That's right. Let me check my email. Okay, that that would be great. I um. There, is, there isn't. They, they what they're doing is taking the measurements, and then it takes like five months to do the to precast. Oh, the sorry. Clear, that's clear. the that's the big project. Yeah, that's, that's the big project. The but yep. that's why there's not any real activity happening right. It's seemingly right but, now. But we don't have a contract for anything other than engineering on the big one yet. 
right? Correct. Yep. Correct. Exactly. Okay, good. Yep. Nothing, okay. nothing but that. Just wanted to make sure because I yep. couldn't find anything else. Yeah, no, oh. that was it. No, no, no. That there's... was it. And you have the contract for the small one, right? I, I do. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so yeah I figured stuff. that into and, my and numbers. And I have to say, Brenda, we would absolutely make sure that you have certain anything up to date. Yeah, that's, as that's as the most it. current. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, just so, so if you, if, oh, go ahead, the Trevor. The expenses, you've got equipment repair, we went up 20, uh, but we went down 20 in equipment replacement. Right. Um, and then we went, in lab fees, we went up about 8,000. I think that was because Kevin was noticing that that was what we were spending. Right. Yeah, and that's Paul more realistic. And Paul went up Correct. about twice. Yep. 000. Yep. And there again, that's that's a more accurate reflection of what we've been spending. And then our uh, sludge obviously went up because that's hopefully that covers it. Right. Um, it keeps going up a lot. And then the software maintenance. That's the allocation yep. of that program that he's got that For he's splitting stuff. between yep. the budgets. Yeah, that makes the sense. Asset management program. And then the and then very last that. line item is the uh, administrative indirect costs, which. Yep. Uh, was based on numbers we had a little while back, but I, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not changing this at this point in time. All the budgets are pretty well set. So, um, if you add the salary number and the expense number together, you come to nine hundred and forty-three thousand five forty-two. That's almost a hundred thousand higher than what our budget was last year. Mm -hmm. Part so of that just problem is sludge and testing and right. all those uh, things so, you guys just mentioned. So the we rates anticipated we had increased the rates. Yeah. yeah, so the rates will just need to cover that as as long right. as yep. you feel like that's a reasonable I we, do. We uh, we we raised the rates on purpose so people knew that we you know, we had to cover our expenses. We had to anticipate the project. And um, this is what we were told to do to, you know, to get ourselves in shape for the grant. And okay. so, I mean, as painful as it was, we did it. And um, so I think we should be okay. Okay. Thank goodness we have a good reserve to cover yeah. the debt and the debt service. Yeah. Right. That'll help. I, yeah. I, I think what's going to happen is that we're, we're going to be okay because we're going to be, you, add, you have to be adding on Snowberry. You know, we, we don't have static users, we're adding users. We've been adding, adding we have been. on a so, regular basis. I, I, right. I'm amazed at so, how many times I see that fee come in. So when we add in the users and we add in the fees um, and our rates, I don't think we have to do anything more with the rates. We anticipate, you know, we sort of calculated all that in, you know, the growth and all that. So, okay. Do we um, need... Um, to budget for debt service on this? Or is this just a note to say, hey, we've got a budget on the other sheet? On, uh, Says, for this one, yeah, I'll, I'll, what it'll be, uh, I'll add it you'll in. You'll add something in. And, okay. and then show an okay. offset yep. from retained right. earnings. Okay. okay. Yeah. I know, well, it looks, I know it looks bad, but we knew it was going to be bad, so that was why we tried to break, break up the rates, increase the rates every year for a little bit. And so that may that has to continue to happen. Right? It does. Yep. Yep. We we uh, we laid out the rates, what we thought would be covered. Okay. And it it's panning out. I mean, I think. So I just far, am not yeah. familiar with no, we'll what that up. projection yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. so if 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 I make the changes that we've talked about, um and reduce what we're putting into <coughs> capital stabilization to 150,000. We're still, and, and, and we haven't even taken into account interest. So you, you've got to add some for interest. Yeah. You've just wiped out your free cash completely. Yep. Yep. So what do, what do we do to fix free cash? Well, um, um, and, and I didn't know if you wanted to relook at the, at the CIPC requests. No. Um, yes. Free, uh, when you say free cash, um, that's not like factoring in any money that we're going to roll back from our current budget. No, that won't hit. Right. No, after right. That, that doesn't hit. Next right. September. You know you'll have that. Yes, right. you will have that. So, if we but it, but if you use all of your free cash in April, what's that? That's yours. Do they have the seven? No. If. 
Are they copies? Uh, if you want. Uh, okay. So we're if you about use that. all of your free cash, mm -hmm. then then you're just kind of setting yourself back a little bit as far as where you're going to be in September. Yeah, um, because you're going to have less in September. Right. But mm -hmm. also, also if you do that in April and you have some emergency between right. April no, and June 30th, right. or actually between then and, and, right. and August, you're, you're kind of um, yeah. stuck. You want to leave something. For sure. I think and so, what did you suggest? What was it? Two hundred thousand? You, you know, I, I, I like the idea somewhere between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand. Right. Um, right. But your pressure is notwithstanding. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. I know I'm conservative, but I. I, I mean, I feel more comfortable at two hundred. I think 150 is a little light. So you've got to figure where you're going to so cut. So we have to stop cutting that I know, I know. And, now, and it's got to be know. across the board to be equitable for everybody. I know, I know. I'm just saying. So I, I'm nervous, you know, my, my going down to 150. There are some well, I, 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 so had, I had an offer you're this afternoon. Yeah. I hope he doesn't mind that, I, that I'm going to throw this out there. But now you're going to make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were coming for it anyways. <laughs> but um, John has mentioned that he um, he had told Jeff that his mobile data terminals for the cruisers could wait one year. So Can that's thirty five. That's what's that? Can his cruiser wait one year? He didn't. He didn't offer that. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think he would. But I'm but hear this tomorrow. We'll, we'll but see. there's <laughs> there's a there's thirty thirty five. <laughs> There's $35,000 in the capital projects request that could be, that could come out. You could hold for a year on that. That would be, that would be great. And and I know you you had some questions about the 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 pickup truck. I I, do. I don't know if that was still a, a question in your mind. I it is. I didn't know if you wanted to visit start with this or if you wanted to wait and see or or think about other budgets that maybe could be trimmed. Mm. Yeah. At the uh, finance notes. committee is meeting on Monday, right. and we'll take up the budgets that we haven't taken up, basically the ones right. that we took up, and then we'll put it all together. And then at that point in time, it makes sense to me, I don't know if it does to you, that we ought to have a joint meeting yes. to oh, look yes. over these yes. things. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because someplace, I assume, we're going to have to do some trimming. Yes. Brenda well, has mentioned that you guys talked about the 19th. The 19th was the, the date that we came just up, so I'll have to double check and make sure that we can get a quorum on it, that's all. I'll shoot a message out and see. I hadn't officially asked the board about that. Brenda mentioned it to me this afternoon, so I, I need to send David a message. Um, but officially I have, request I have a, that you guys meet on the 19th if you I can. I have a SCEMS meeting. On oh, meeting. you do that yeah, night. Yeah, that's right. She does have a SCEMS <sighs> meeting. And so does David. Yep. David has a scam okay. too. So what, what day? That's Thursday. Thursday the 19th. I'd like Brenda just to quickly, ex I'd try to explain it, but I'll screw something up, so. Well, this is, this is just a reasonable, this is, when I, when I calculate free cash after I, I submit for it, I just do this reasonableness, reasonableness calculation. Mm -hmm. Which basically takes what we left on the table at June 30th. 174, but which we dropped down some. We and dropped it down to 174, right? To 174, oh, 174, correct. Okay. And then, um, then excess revenues over what was estimated. Mm -hmm. And then. Both of these are revenues. It's the actual or the. Right. Right. And then any, any unencumbered and unexpended so appropriation balances. Right. So that means nothing that was is something that wasn't carried forward into the next year. Yeah. So you add those together, and it just kind of makes me feel comfortable with the number that I came up with with the actual real calculation. This is just a reasonableness calculation. Okay. Did you? Oh, yeah, that was an extra. Yeah. Okay. You can have another one if you'd like. No, so thank I've you. Got more. She's got a lot. So of what, paper. what was the difference? <laughs> 
Oh, it, it could be a number of things. So, so part of the other, so there's other things that come into play in this calculation. If you have any negative balances in any of your funds right. and you don't have debt to support that, yeah. that's a, 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 a charge against free cash. And then there's, um, I can't remember whether you add the, the tax receivables from one year and subtract the receivables from the other year. Yeah. So, so that plays here. into it as well. So. Um, uh, over, this is just over in overspent budgets, right? From the lines, yeah, from each line. And it, I mean, we don't do that, but I mean, it's, right. it's entirely possible that something sure. would pop up on the, the very end of June, mm -hmm. and you overspend. We don't the let budget. that happen. <laughs> no, we're we very try careful. to manage that in transfers oh, no. if but, necessary. But it can happen. Yeah, it can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it can. It can. It can. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But we try to. I mean, I think honestly. We, we so I mean, that's that's part of that thing of know. you know we we try to keep. A something in yeah. held back or reserve, if you will. Uh, I I know. I'm, so I'm, the reserve that we'd like to hold back is another 175, right? I mean, that's generally well, if it was a wonderful more. year or more. Or well, usually we, we well, usually we're about around 250 more right than 250, than what we have. 300. We usually yeah. do 250, 300. So that's why I feel but not so a year like this, though. right? I know, but that's why right. I'm just saying once it gets below 200, I start. So, we so you have this? an option of not putting money into capital stabilization. I know, Skip, you don't like that idea, but right. I but that's at that's the end that's, of the a, day, that's a, if we have you could use. extra, we can we can set it aside for a rainy day or for for capital projects. But maybe that's one of the items if it's that raining. you forego. <laughs> Because, or, of, because of the situation we're in in terms of coming up with these capital. And, and maybe things are not going to be as bad as we anticipate. So all of a sudden you have more free cash. You know, we have more certification. Our certified free cash in the fall is more than we thought. Which, which you know, I, I know happen. we talked about, you know, know, free cash in the fall being something that could. I mean, there is going to be a stimulus package oh. of some sort, but we don't know what it is. While we're talking revenue, I just wanted to report out to the select board that the that there was a reserve fund transfer to from the reserve fund to the police um, yep. for the police cruiser of three thousand four hundred okay. fifty seven. Do you want to vote to support that? Do yes. we? Yep. No, it's you don't need to. You don't? Oh, it's yeah. just a yeah. finance, finance yeah. committee vote? Just yeah, it's, it's more of an FYI for the yeah. select board so okay. that you know that that was uh, our first reserve fund transfer for right. the year. Yep. <laughs> No, I, I'm I'm okay with that. The, uh, the reason, and, and I don't want to get into a lot of discussion, right? But I'd like to throw a couple of things out. You've got things like complete streets. I'll call them clean streets, but uh, so you've got that project. We've we've talked for a long time about the needs for a senior center. Mm -hmm. We obviously have some needs for town hall. Uh, we also have, we've talked about having some senior housing. So I mean, all of these things, we're not making any headway on any of these. Yeah. So. We need a wealthy benefactor. You know. <laughs> I think we know a few. <laughs> But in any event, it's, it's, so that's the other one that I, you know, would like you to, when you're going through the budget, uh, since in, in a lot of ways, most of these are projects that you have initiated, you know, indicated that, right. you know, are uh, important, really important to you, yeah. is one of these projects more important, more important than, than yeah. this item is, right. so, and, yeah, and we got maybe to at priority. least give some thought to that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. When can we get together as a? Well, it now it looks like the nineteenth. We're going to aim for. May not for. be it. No. But David and I you, won't you be able to. David Knight. David goes to Skems too. So, so do we have night? to wait till the following oh, week? I suppose. We, we, I don't know what I didn't, couldn't understand. <laughs> why can we do the eighteenth? <laughs> why Check why, the can, we, why yeah. can we do the seventeenth? Seventeenth, we can't do. St. Patty's Day. I mean, everything's been canceled already. Oh, well, well, we could do we, the we No one's going concerned. to the parade, so. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It got canceled. Um, 
So what, is it the 16th? Is that when we're meeting? Is that the yeah? Uh, okay. 16th is Monday. Yeah. Wait, so wait, wait. We're meeting the 16th. No, no, no. no. Finance oh. committee. Finance I was committee. Say, is meeting I, the I have a, already. I had a. Yeah, you already had it. I knew you had a conflict. Oh, okay. But Wednesday, I don't. I, Wednesday. I, well, um, I don't I'll know what David's back. schedule is. We'd have. You to said see. you said Tuesday wasn't going to work. Right. No, it could Tuesday. for me. It's just St. Patrick's Day. Tuesday's fine for me. Everybody wear green. I was going to say whatever. I have, might have a conflict with that, but I'll see if I can change it. All right. So, so, so 16th can, We'll see if you can get 17th? that posted for now, and we'll see where can it goes. Can we say 17th at 6 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that okay? Somebody's got to bring the corned beef and 19th. hash. We just, any, which days are, I mean, I have no problem with any of those, actually. I All right. Let's go with the seventeenth and see what we can do. Let's do the seventeenth because I'm, not, I'm I'm just worried that you can't do the nineteenth. The nineteenth, I have two meetings already. So so and, and David's oh, going to be at one of those too. So that that kind of you can't do the. So we got no, the seventeenth yeah. or the eighteenth, and let's see what we can do. We'll check and see what we can. Okay. What we can get the finance committee on board. Uh, I just I might have a hard time getting back on the eighteenth. That's all, but whatever. Um, well, we'll change it to six fifteen then. No, no, no. The seventeenth at six o'clock is fine. Pardon? Seventeenth at six, six o'clock is fine. Okay. So, anything else we need to wrap up tonight? Um, before okay. I get home. Just so I'm clear, we're leaving everything as it is right now until we've got a chance to visit together. Yeah, I think on, so. On we're going to have to figure Other than out the, the changes. I think that, that we, we looked at tonight about. for the, you know. I think we all so agree. Changing, for those debt. For changing the, debt the capital stabilization yes. to 150,000 yep. and adding the debt, and then I'll see if Barbara can put together and I, some. And I, and I, I would write, like to get closer to 200 in, in free cash, but I understand that we might not be able to do that. But certainly, that's I, I think we all we agree that 57 is wrong. Well, you know, 16,000, we could say. <laughs> Hey, don't, 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 I'm not stealing don't. your thunder. I've heard it so much. That's right. come on, come on, come on. Don't steal my thunder. Come on. I want you to know I've been working 14 hour days. I'm going to I'm going to sue I'm, for uh, not getting a what was it? it a, it's it's on a map. I mean, I've I've got two lousy phrases. I know where I can find 16,000 in. Where are you going to get the money from? Right. <laughs> so, Even with the gas Right. Those are two good ones. Where is it coming oh my. from? I know, that's, that's the way I feel. Calendar. I know, it's like craziness. And it's been like that every day, it seems like. Did we need to vote, uh, just real day. quickly before we get out of here, um, did we need to vote on the um, sewer expense? I don't think we voted that, so oh, let's do that. Uh, wait a minute, let me check. We did not. No, we didn't. So. Um, do you want to wait till I add the other? I think we need to do that because we She's have to should have something. a clean. Yeah, we, let's done, let's. I'll get it. Is that on, okay with you? I mean, I know that. you guys are going to address it, and you know what it is. I mean, we'll, but you probably have it for us on Monday. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's fine. So we'll wait then. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, well, I mean, we all we kind of know what the we know what the, what it is. I mean, I don't. But it seems like if it's okay to wait till. The yeah, you don't have an actual. If the finance number, committee is okay so. to wait, we can. I, That's fine. We, I'm all right with that. I mean, the other one, and I would like you to address it at some point in time as this process goes on is no we don't want to talk about it but the two and a half override i know well and we'll you may bring very that up we'll say absolutely not or but well let's have that, that discussion your, as far as i know that's when your we're choice together. you know how i feel skip my my opinion hasn't changed if if it's something that's a one time fixable thing it's okay it makes sense but if it's just because we can't control operational costs that's not a solution. Okay. Then, well, then, but if it, then yeah. you're, what you're saying that is it's we are going to control operational costs. Well, yeah. the other thing is, Carolyn, though, is that at some point, you know, the schools eat into our money know, every I single know. year. So how many years have we gone since the last two and a half override? We've, We've never, never had, had two There you go. So every schools. year we know, eat up a percent. And that and, compounds and year after year after year after year. And overall, the schools went up 3.6 something Every year, it's 3 year. something. I know, so, I know. But and I'm, we cannot control salary. And at some point, we have to do a correction for the salaries in this but town. But if we understand that it is for the schools and... But the thing it's is... It's for everybody, the not just the schools. The office, it's for yeah, everybody. Office, yeah. It's all of our salaries go up more well, than 2.5 every year. But there are a couple of things that, that hit us... Uh, the, the contribution that we're making 
to the retirement fund, which was what, a million dollars? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, it's sitting yeah. on my desk. Yeah, that's, uh, that's relatively new. That we didn't do 10 years ago. No, and part of it is because they are calculating the OPEB into their own costs right. and charging the Well, towns. no, I'm talking about the, the million dollars that we send or 600,000, whatever that yeah, number is, something. to the uh, Franklin something. County. Right, uh, it calculates, it includes whatever. their and OPEB costs. And so at costs. some point, we've got to account for that in what we do as a town. And, and so yeah, know, to keep I saying know, we're, we're, you know, you know, keeping the senior center budget at $25,000 or whatever it measly amount of money we spend on the seniors, at some point we have to just say, look, the, the cost of doing the town is more money because of all of these items. And you have to reset, and we never have. And I'm not saying we're doing it. I'm just it's saying that you can't ignore discuss. and keep, know. keep. you know, but we keep whittling down the 25% of our budget when the other 75% of our budget just inflates every year constantly, constantly, constantly. Well, if Trevor, we, yeah, I know, but I, the problem is get, you cannot get into a cycle in. of, of, of agreeing that your operational costs are going to be, you're going to fix with an override. What you need to do, I mean, what you Why if not? you have a one-time thing that you can fix, is if it's structural a structural problem, adjustment of pay. Adjustment, but we're going to have to adjust again and again and again. Well, you're not hello. I, that's that's why I think, we're two and a half. I think many, for many more towns more have had to changes. get to this point or yes. have gotten to this point already. Yes. Yes. We're yeah. lucky that we, that yeah. we yeah. haven't. Yeah. Been able to or or At maybe some it's point, because of our you, budgeting. You, but you're just going to keep minimizing what you can do to run the, the rest of us run ragged. Well, 75% of the town just keeps going and going and going, going and going and going, and we don't have any way to control it. I know. We'll, I just, get, we'll get somebody elected to the school committee that can do their job. Make a difference. <laughs> we need to elect about 20. <laughs> it's, not, it's not their fault either. It's just, you know, the, the rates go up. Everybody, you know, everything costs more every year. It's yeah. difficult. It is. It's not like they're, you know, all kinds of new programs and everyone's got a new uniform and what you know we've got is. great marching bands with like all brand new instruments that none I, of that happens new art rooms new art programs none no, of that happens. and what i it will goes say to salaries period. what i will say is when i first was on the select board we actually were protesting because the state was only paying 33 to 36 mm percent -hmm of the cost of educating children in our communities. Yep. And we thought it was outrageous. So like we were organizing and all kinds of stuff. And Man, guess what? Now we're down it's to the like 21%. Yeah. And the costs have just skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's eighteen thousand dollars to do a kit, regular ed. I know, and that's know. not including that's special ed. We were at a meeting last night. Skip and I went to, um, to down to Northampton. And there was a whole 70 minute presentation on Chapter 70 funding from 1623 up to today. And um, we spent what, two hours there. Um, we, we tried to ask some questions, but. Well, yeah, we could. What did they say? They didn't talk to you? <laughs> they wouldn't talk to you. No, Probably they were good. Look, Tracy Novak was there, and, and um, they, were, they were great. Joe, Joe Comifer was there and just explaining that kind of stuff. But it's difficult. It's difficult, you know? I know. It's history of it all. Okay, so um, motion to adjourn. I just please everybody yeah. continue to wash your hands, stay safe. Don't go visit grandma and grandpa if you're sneezing. Elbow um, bumps. Elbow bumps. Yeah. Just you know, do the best you can to protect our, our elderly and anybody that's compromised. No so. Protect your hands when you're at the gas station pumping yep. your gas. We're, we'll be talking about this tomorrow night. Yep. Now, now the other thing you need to do is don't take any cash back. Just right. Leave, leave it there. Just leave the. cash. <laughs> oh really? We we'll use a debit. Um, so motion. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all very much. And have a wonderful night.